you know, it's interesting because in chapter 13, the ruler of the synagogue, uh, after Christ had healed the woman, mm -hmm. the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day. This is verse 14. Mm -hmm. And said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work. In them, therefore, come and be healed, and mm -hmm. not on the Sabbath. So here you have mm -hmm. the ruler of the synagogue uh, applying work to healing someone, which is interesting because, mm -hmm. you know, in six days you have to do your earthly work, mm -hmm. right? But on the seventh day, we always talk about the Sabbath day as a day of rest, right? But it's a rest from our earthly work. And that's the day that we are to become whole, right? That's the mm. seventh. And that's the day that we do our heavenly work, right? To become more like the Savior, more like God. And so here, that's exactly what the Savior is doing, right? And, and, and I think that's what he's pointing out yeah. about the sheep or the oxen into a pit is that, you know, you have six days that you do your earthly work. Mm -hmm. But when you have someone or something that is in, you know, danger, right, of losing life, limb, or whatever, you still work. That's a higher work. It's yeah. a higher and holier calling. And I think that example of, of seeing people and caring for people and trying to follow the Spirit, like mm -hmm. what is the right thing for me to be doing for this person right now? And I, I think about a, a situation when I was young and my family was moving and um, there was a deadline and I remember my mom going back and helping work on the house after church and a family friend who loved her and knew the worry and the concern she had, she went and helped and I think, well, okay, is it normally something you do on Sabbath? No, but she knew that this was something that like, my mom was up against this deadline. And so her love for my mom led her to, to put herself out to make it sort of like, I could go home and take a nap because it's the day of rest. Mm -hmm. So instead, she's like, I'm here to, to love and to serve and to bless. You have this burden. Let me help lift this burden and, and make it easier for you so you don't do this all by yourself. Mm -hmm. And that taught me a lot about this the spirit that the Savior shows, that caring for us is, like, there's never a break for him. And right. that, that is his work, is to, to lift us and to serve us.